Boys and girls, today we are going to learn how to become a better reader by using skimming and scanning strategies. When it comes to reading, skimming and scanning strategies are your best friends. You've probably heard of skimming and scanning. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain what is skimming and scanning, describe the importance of skimming and scanning, and list down the steps that you can use to skim and scan effectively. Follow my instructions and you should be able to skim, scan, and look for information in no time. So, what are we waiting for? Let's begin! Skimming is an essential tool that you can use to read in half the time. To skim is to read quickly, in which you are only looking for the main ideas in a text. While skimming, your main objective is to understand the main point of the text rather than concentrating on absorbing all the details. Do you know that we always skim when we read? It's just that we don't realize it. For instance, we take a quick glance at a newspaper report to quickly get the general news of the day. We skim through magazine to discover articles that we would like to read in detail. Or, we skim through business or travel brochures to get information quickly. There are several benefits of skimming. First, effective skimming will increase your reading speed and understanding. Hence, enabling you to become an efficient reader when acquiring information from a text. Secondly, Skimming will also help you to pinpoint information quickly while making sure that you are using your time wisely. This is important as during exams, you are given very limited time to answer all of the questions. For this reason, skimming is an essential skill that you have to acquire to become a better reader. So what are the right strategies that you can employ when skimming through an article or text? Many people consider skimming as an aimless process where you place your eyes wherever they fall. However, in skimming, there has to be structure but you don't read everything. What you read during the process is more important than what you left out. So which information should you read and which information should you leave out? Follow these simple steps and you can become good at skimming. Step 1. Know what you want. Before you start skimming, you should ask yourself, what kind of information do you want to get from the text? Think of several questions that describe what you want to know. For instance, you can ask yourself, What is the format of the text? Is it a factual, argumentative, or a narrative text? What is the purpose of the text? What are the issues that the writer is trying to convey? Or you can ask yourself, What are the main ideas or arguments that are presented in the text? As you skim, pay attention for any parts of the text that answer these questions. By asking yourself these questions, it will guide you and give you some sense of direction as you skim. Remember, skimming without any particular purpose will make you tired and sleepy. Try to detect the main idea in the introductory paragraphs. The introductory paragraph will normally express the main idea, argument, or goal in a text. They will tell you what the writer is trying to achieve from the text. Therefore, you have to read this paragraph closely and thoroughly. 
By reading the introductory paragraph in detail, you will get a general idea of the information that will be presented in the text. Step 3. Read the first sentence in each paragraph. Once you get the general idea from the text, read the first sentence in each paragraph. The first sentence in each paragraph will sum up what follows next in the paragraph. These sentences are generally known as topic sentences. The topic sentence will inform you about the main idea in each paragraph. If you do not get the main idea in the topic sentence, or if the paragraph greatly interests you, then you may want to skim more. Step 4. Don't necessarily read complete sentences. When skimming, you don't have to read the whole sentence. You just quickly go through the sentence to see whether it has any useful information. If that sentence doesn't give you the information that you want, then skip to the next one. Your eyes should drop down through the rest of the paragraph as you are looking for the main ideas. Leave out any supporting details or examples if you think that it's not relevant to what you are looking for. Scanning is a tool that you can use to speed up your reading. Scanning is always confused with skimming, but in fact, it is a distinct reading strategy that involves rapid but focused reading of the text. When you scan, you only look for a specific fact or information without reading everything. While the goal of skimming is a bird's eye view of the material, the goal of scanning is to locate and swoop down on particular do you know that we always scan when we read? It's just that we don't realize it. For instance, we scan when we look for our favorite show listed in the TV guide or when we look for the sports score for our favorite team in the newspaper. We also scan for information, facts and figures from our reference books when we want to study for our exam. And most importantly, we scan during exams when we want to look for a specific answer from a text. There are several benefits of scanning. First, scanning allows you to find details and other information in a hurry. This is useful when locating statements, definitions or formula which you must remember completely and precisely. Secondly, scanning adds another high gear to your reading. You cannot read everything the same way. Reading for pleasure and reading for an exam or study are two different undertakings. By scanning, it enables you to become a more flexible reader. It means when you read, you know your purpose and what to be gained from the text that is presented in front of you. So the question now, how do you scan when you read? In order to scan for information effectively, you can follow these simple steps that I'm going to explain in details. Step 1. Know what you're looking for. You have to decide on a few keywords or phrases. Consider yourself as a search engine. When you want to search for something from the internet, you have to key in several keywords to help the search engine find the information that you want. This concept can be applied to scanning, but instead of using a computer, you use your eyes and your brain to process the information that you receive. You are your own flesh and blood search engine. Let's say you are studying about the chronology of our country's independence from a reference book or internet article. Before you begin reading, you can consider these questions. For instance, Malaysia's history of independence or the chronology of Malaysia's independence. As you read, keep your eyes peeled to any tables of contents, indexes or headings which contain any words from this question. Then, ask yourself if the section of the text answered the questions that you have in mind. If so, 
you would like to pay close attention to this part of the text. Step 2. Look for only one keyword at a time. If you are focusing on too many things at the same time, chances are you might get tired easily. You may also get confused as you are loading your brain with too much information. Imagine what will happen if you run multiple programs on your computer at the same time. Your computer will become slow and in the end it will crash. This applies to your brain too. As you are cramming many things at once, your brain just can't handle the information overload. So go easy on your brain and take one step at a time. Step 3. Let your eyes float rapidly. When you scan, you just need to scroll down the page until you find the word or phrase that you want. Now the idea here is not necessarily to read each word but to scan the entire area, letting your mind pick out the information that you want. In order to achieve this, you need to use the right strategies to scan effectively. But how do we do this? You can follow this method to assist you when you are scanning. We call it the Z Suite. First, place your index finger at the beginning of the text. This acts as the pointer to guide your eyes when you are reading. Using your finger, you scan from the beginning to the ending of each line. When you reach the end of the line, you cut across the text diagonally about three lines and then slide back to the next line. Imagine moving our eyes in a zigzag motion. Do not attempt to read the words. Just move your eyes back and forth as fast as you can. You should only stop when you have located the specific information which you are looking for. Step 4. Read the surrounding material carefully. When your eye catches one of your keywords, read the surrounding material carefully. Use a pencil and mark the beginning and the end of the section of the text, which you think contain the information that you want. Just focus on this part and don't read beyond the border. The most common mistake that students often make when they scan is a tendency to highlight the whole sentence from the text. As a result, many ended up highlighting a whole chunk of text instead of focusing on the specific part. This defeats the purpose of scanning. Remember, there's no need to highlight the whole sentence. You just need to focus on the keywords so that you can pinpoint the information quickly. Exclude any irrelevant details such as supporting details or elaboration that have no value to what you are looking for. Always bear in mind, we scan to look for specific information. I hope you have learned new things from this video and I hope to see you again. Till next time, bye-bye!